Hi, I'm Todd Burrow. I'm the Senior Director of Stadium Engineering for the Kansas City Royals. I've been a fan of the Royals since I was a kid. Uh, came out to games and starting in 73. But when I went to school for engineering at the uh, University of Missouri Rolla at the time, now Missouri S&T, I figured I'd be in manufacturing or work for one of the bigger, uh, bigger companies. But started out in manufacturing for 16 years and decided I needed a change of pace. Uh, a colleague of mine mentioned the, the job at the Royals. I looked into it, next thing you know, I'm here. And I've been working here for 15 years. So this is the sound room. PA announcer sits up here. The sound engineer sits up here. There's a couple other pieces that, that uh, I'm involved with. One is the field lights, and the other is the um, water spectacular controls. So you flip the switch, the sprays will kick up, and it'll start going through this program. There's several different valves that do different things. Um, there's one that's called the tulip. The ones that we're seeing now, I believe, are the A valves, uh, but they're letters A through J, I believe. And then the field lights, uh, the field lights generally is just a, a one button push, but um, it's really uh, simple controls and we just turn it on and boom, the lights come on. These lights are instant on. Evergy did a, a good job of helping us with the uh, rebate. We save $40,000 a year in, in utilities. Um, and then about $60,000 a year just in the maintenance costs. Facility projects off season, there's usually 20 to 40. Uh, most of them are simple, uh, but there's usually a handful that are um, pretty extensive. The Miller Lite bar is one, the, the netting and the foul poles uh, is one we did this past year. We knew we had a 50-year-old foul pole. We didn't know the condition of it, so we went ahead and decided to go this route. We replaced it, 22-inch diameter pole, uh, two-inch wall thickness. So it's very, very sturdy. There's, uh, the netting extends to within 20 feet of the foul pole, and the forces on the foul pole are, are, are very significant, uh, much more than what the original foul pole could, could handle, so that's why we replaced it. Okay, so the solar panels, um, when they went up, there was uh, 120 panels. There are eight square feet per panel, so roughly a thousand square feet of solar panels. We put them on the outfield uh, canopy. It seemed to make sense. Uh, it fits in with the uh, with the architecture. It doesn't stand out. It doesn't uh, doesn't uh, look like it's out of place. Um, and then it helps us conserve energy, uh, which is always a good thing. Evergy is is really good about pushing solar. Uh, pushing windmills, uh, wind energy, um, alternative energy sources, uh, so that's a good thing. Uh, reliability is really key. We don't want the lights to go out during a game. Uh, we don't want to have power outages. Um, so uh, reliability is a, is a real big key, and Evergy does a, a good job with, uh, with the supply of power to the stadium. We have um, some redundancies uh, built in so that uh, if we do have an issue, it'll be short term, but uh, for the most part, Consistency in our power supply has been been really good. The the folks that have uh, that have been my supervisors for the last 15 years have been amazing. Uh, but at the same time, the, the staff that I have, uh, there's a lot of folks that work for me that are just amazing. And uh, I just you know, I, I wouldn't be anything if it wasn't for them. So uh, much appreciation to those guys.